Hey guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm going to be doing another shop my stash, but this time it's going to be a drugstore edition, which I've never done before here on my channel. You guys know I love doing shop my stashes where we basically go through my entire makeup collection and then pick out some products to create a look with. But I decided to do a drugstore edition. So if you guys have any other editions that you want me to do, I know you guys love to shop my MAC stashes using MAC products. Or if there's another edition, maybe high end, then I can definitely do that. So do let me know and without further ado let's just jump straight into it okay so this is the first time i'm switching to my phone because i actually like how easy it is to hold and then just go through everything for the drugstore edition let's dive into my primers why do i feel like my phone camera is better than my actual camera we have a range it needs to be cleaned but because we're only looking at drugstore i'm only going to focus on drugstore so i won't be pulling out like for example smashbox and things like that right here is the essence Poreless and Skin Blurring Putty Primer. We have the Maybelline Baby Skin as well. Um, what else do we have? Oh, Elf Mint Melt. But I don't know if you can get that anymore. We have my Poreless Putty Primers, Nivea and Essence back there. XX Revolution, which is quite dusty because it never sees my skin. This one I could pour. This is the Cloud Complexion. We have my new favourite, which is the Gorgeous Glow from Collection, the filter finish, which is a complete dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I did a side-by-side -side comparison, so you guys can check out that video. That I'm not going to use today because I did use it already. Prime Focus by Wet n Wild is an option. Now that I'm looking at it, I really don't have much. We could use my favourite gloss skin primer, but I feel like you guys know that. Oh, what's this? No, that's milk. I think I'm going to use the XX Revolution Cloud Complexion. So let's go into foundation. Foundations. Okay. Drugstore foundations. Let's see. Two Maybelline foundations. This one was like my holy grail drugstore foundation when I want a full coverage matte finish. And they changed the formula to this new one, which is the 30 hour wear. And I absolutely hate it. The color's not the same anymore. The formula's not the same. It's super, super, super drying. But yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not going to use it. Super Serum, which is super underrated from Real Love by Revolution. But I think I used that recently. I could pull one of my L'Oreal True Matches. So I might hold on to one of these. Wet n Wild normal one and then the Dewy ver version. Um, we have my L'Oreal's. We have LA Girl Tinted Foundation, which I used recently. NYX Born to Glow is an option. I haven't used that in a while. Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Healthy Glow. Oh, I'm going to grab this one. I don't know if you can still get it. And it is quite dark for me. But I really want to use it because I honestly haven't used it in probably more than a year. Down here are my concealers. Lean Superstay, the new one. Um, we have the Essence Skin Loving Concealer, which I just used, I think. Yeah, Revolution Eye Bright. I might grab the Maybelline one. I can't remember if I liked it. I don't think I did, but uh, my Rev Revolution Conceal and Hydrate, which is my favorite. A lot of it just collects dust. We have the CoverGirl. We have the Ordinary, but I guess that's not considered drugstore. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And Wet and Wild Photo Focus, but again, this is a little too dark for me. So I want to go for something which is maybe going to lighten. So I think what I'll do is do the Maybelline Superstay, but I'll also grab a brightener. I found it. It's the Elf Flawless Brightening Concealer, my favourite. I'm going to grab this to use together. Powders. Powder time. Oh my god, my Elf Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. I have not used this in a long time. I love this powder. I think I'll hold on to this. The Elf Halo Glow. That's all Bare Minerals. We have the Elf Camo Foundation Powder. And then that's all high-end, I believe. So yeah, I don't really have much drugstore unless I could go into this, which is the Revolution Banana Light. I'm going to grab this powder. But I do need a loose setting powder as well. So I think I will grab the Elf Halo Glow because it is my favourite. And I just want to show you guys how much I love it. Yeah, I just realized because I'm going out after I filmed the makeup portion, I really don't want to go outside in case this foundation is really dark for me. <laughs> and I'm just going to look like I'm going to feel uncomfortable if it doesn't match my neck too well. So I'm going to grab another option and then we'll see whilst I'm filming. If I, if I feel like it's too dark, then I will use that other option. So I'm going to grab something which I know is going to work for me. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match in w1 um because i feel like i haven't used this on camera in a very long time 
and I did love it at one point so much that's why I bought quite a few um and I think W1 is going to be good moving on into one of my favorite drawers which is the blush bronzer and highlight drawer this will be easy because I don't really have much drugstore blushes we have the Colourpop blush in Vogue Milani blushes uh what else do we have XX Revolution oh maybe I could use a cream or oh, maybe not my wet and wild blushes either i could use this essence one i think i'm gonna go with the flower beauty blush this one and for bronzer we have the rimmel natural bronzer again i don't really have like i need to go drugstore makeup shopping um maybe that's something i can take you guys along with me to do a vlog this is the revolution baked bronzer um yeah i really don't have nyx i really don't have much and over there are cream bronzers, but I want to stick to a powder, so I'm kind of torn. Now I don't know. I think I'll go with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And then for highlighter, let's see. This one's kind of calling my name. I just spotted it. Um, and this is the e.l.f. highlighter. This is the e.l.f. highlighter in white gold. It's calling my name. Oh, that's Stila. What else do we have? My two Wet n Wilds. my revolution highlighters which are my all-time favorites this one's a very pinky like rose gold oh you can kind of see me hi this is a pinky rose gold i'm gonna grab this one look at that it looks stunning there is this elf one no i've made my mind up i want to grab this we need a setting spray i forgot about that um again i don't have much so i think we have the elf dewy coconut one of my favorite drugstore setting sprays or the Hello Good Stuff from Essence. This is the Calming Fixing Spray. I think I will get this one. The Friends Collab with Makeup Revolution. By the way, I'm really sorry if you can hear kids in the back. My window is literally just there and they're playing outside. An eyeshadow base. I need one. We have the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Primer. What else is Drugstore? We have... Ooh, we have Wet n Wild and we have NYX HD Studio. I think I'm going to grab the Wet n Wild. Everything else is too colourful and it's not drugstore. Um, oh, we have the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer, which I hate. <laughs> um, yeah, literally everything else is not drugstore for eye bases. So I'm going to grab the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eye Primer. But whilst we're here, I could grab a glitter. Maybe this. Maybe I could do like a gold, but then I don't know if that goes with the pink blush. Or, oh, I could do a lilac. Oh my God, let's do that. So I'm gonna grab this just in case. So let's go into eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so drugstore. I know technically like the BH Cosmetics and ColourPop, that kind of, like those kind of brands do classes kind of drugstore because they are affordable, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Relove Mindful Palette, that's an option. Oh, but I wanna go maybe for that purple look, so maybe not. Do I have anything drugstore that's purpley? Maybe Pro Pigment, that's an option. Stone Cold Fox. Um, Revolution Pro, but it's a little too warm toned. Elf Opposites Attract. I don't think I have much here. So what I'm gonna do is look up in this little sad container, which don't even ask. Those are limited edition, you can't get them anymore. We have the Makeup Revolution, like a rose palette. Oh, we have these. These are from uh, I Heart Revolution. It was a collab with Dr. Seuss. And let me open them up. I think I'll grab this just for that pink and then that kind of burgundy in the corner. And this was the other palette. So to go along with that palette, I'm going to be taking the Pro Pigment from Pro Fusion because I can't remember the last time I used this on my channel. And also it has pretty much a variety of pinks and purples, which would be perfect with the e.l.f. liquid glitter. So I'm going to be using this one. Moving on into my very sad little drawer of mascaras, eyeliners and lashes, um, eyeliner. Black eyeliners, um, Maybelline Hyper Precise. Rimmel Wonder Ink, 
Collection Extreme Essence Eyeliner. Elf Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, I want to use the Pro Line Felt Tip by Wet n Wild. Mascaras. Matte Stack. Rem. I literally think all of these are high end. So, Essence Lash Princess. Uh, Power Lash by Relove, Makeup Revolution Big Lash, Morphe Make It Big, Maybelline Sky High, Mega Protein Wet n Wild, Maybelline Curl Bounce, Elf Big Mood Mascara, L'Oreal Telescopic, which I haven't even opened yet. So I might grab this. I don't even think I've even shown myself using this on YouTube. So let's get this. And finally, lipsticks and lip glosses. So for lipsticks, where do we start? I'm going to grab a bright lip and a nude lip. So for the nude lip, we have, let's see, we have e.l.f. Oh, maybe I could grab a bright e.l.f. one. This one is really cute. That could be an option. Oh my gosh, this could be cute. Wet and wild, like this really nice bubblegum pink. I don't think I'm going to go for anything too nude. Um... Yeah, a lot of these are high-end as well, unfortunately. I keep putting off doing a declutter because it's just, I'm not ready to do it, but I really need to. Or we could go for something really vampy, but I guess it's not the time of the year. This is really cute, though. You know what? We could go for this. I think it would look really nice with the look. So I'm going to grab this one, and I'm actually just going to do this lip, which is Sugar Plum from e.l.f. It's the Seriously Satin Lipstick Range. And you guys have seen me do my nude lips like a hundred times in every video so we do need a lip liner though i'm actually going to pull a nude lip liner just to line my lips this is the soft and precise lip pencil in the shade my choice and for lip glosses just in case i'll grab one we have some makeup revolution ones back here this one i love the joey lip gloss um that's fenty those are discontinued from makeup revolution so that's an option what's this that's buxom some jeffree star even though these would be really pretty like especially this kind of lavender gloss but again not drugstore maybelline oh my gosh i think i'm gonna grab this one let's leave this makeup revolution for one side okay i know which one i'm gonna grab this is from elf and this is like an iridescent literally like a dupe for the jeffree one or oh, maybe not that was funny yeah maybe not this okay i thought it was but this is the prismatic lip gloss from elf i haven't even opened it yet and it's in the shade rose quartz and actually this is kind of cute from nyx this one is in meringue i'm gonna grab these two and see which one i end up using the rest are just mac lip glosses or high-end or too peachy so these are the two picks this is filling up so quickly so let's go ahead and put a look together and and see what we can come up with jumping into the makeup portion i'm first sipping on some turkish tea before i get started and now let's go into the makeup revolution and friends collaboration the monica calming fixing spray this actually quickly became one of my favorite setting sprays after using it in this video because i could not stop putting it down after using it in this video it's so refreshing and so nourishing on the skin i mean it really just feels absolutely cooling i just absolutely love it it's like the perfect summer setting spray and i'm also using the xx revolution cloud complexion primer which i really enjoyed as well and i haven't used in a while and for foundation i'm using the l'oreal true match super blendable foundation in w1 now i was going to use the essence one like i mentioned but i was going out and the essence one was much darker than this so i stuck to this one you can see this foundation blends out beautifully it sits nicely on the skin i really like this one
And then for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 30 Hour Active Wear Concealer. And this one, I still didn't like. I mean, it was very thin in coverage, in formula. It just didn't do much for my under eyes, for my darkness. And I didn't like how quickly it dried. It dried very quickly and looked a little drying on the skin. So I do fix it by going into the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer in Fair 15W. This is one of my favourites. It's a dupe for the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pens. And this one is such a nice brightening tone. It's very creamy. It just blended nicely on top of the other concealer that I used. And I felt like it just kind of perfected the concealer, the Maybelline one. Because the Maybelline one was really dry. But this just really made my under eyes look a little brighter, a little creamier, smoother, a little more plump. I just love this concealer. I don't know if you can technically call it a concealer because it's a brightener. Ryan Little. <laughs> To set the concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Loose Setting Powder in light. And this has a little bit of a radiant finish to it. Just a slight pearl, just a slight sheen, but nothing crazy. I absolutely love it for underneath the eyes, even for all over the face as well. For powder, I'm using the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Sheer Tint Powder in Fair Slash Light. Now, did this did actually darken my foundation slightly, but not too much. And for bronzer, I'm using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This one's also a drugstore favorite of mine and it's just a really nice smooth one they have a different different shades to choose from and it's just a great option For blush, I'm using the Flower Beauty Blush Pots Blush. I think that's what they're called in Wild Rose, which is like a bubblegum bright pink. But even though it's really bright pink, I just felt like it wasn't too pink on me. I don't know. And I kind of like that. For highlighter, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Highlighter. This one is in Make an Impact, and this one's kind of like a rose gold highlighter. Now, I can't actually use this as highlighter on its own because it's too dark for me. So I did actually, as you can see, like buff it into the blush as well and kind of make it like a blush highlighter hybrid sort of thing and just made the blush look a little glowier rather than actually using it as a traditional highlighter now i did notice that there was slight patchiness from the bronzer and blush i don't know why i don't know what went wrong and i did try to go in with more bronzer and try to fix it but in the end i just couldn't so i just had to leave it like that And there's me just vibing to Bad Bunny's new album. I'm going into the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And then for eyeshadow palette, you guys saw I picked out the Pro Pigment Eyeshadow Palette from Profusion. This one's a great one. Now, the quality isn't anything amazing. It's just like very standard, a little bit dry as well. Um, the shimmers aren't really creamy and metallic, but it's affordable. There's an array of colors to choose from. It's a great starter eyeshadow palette. I actually haven't tried anything else from Profusion, so this is the only thing that I have used from them. And I'm just going into that pink shade and going into my crease. There's me vibing again. This is kind of like my base color, and then I do go into a little bit more of that kind of, I don't know what you would call that, like even brighter pink.
kind of has a little bit of a purple tone to it and also applying that in the crease For the lid i'm taking that really light like lavender pink shimmery shade and i did wet my brush with the setting spray and i'm just applying that on the lid and it just provides a little bit of a nice glow to the eyes but again it's nothing super metallic I'm also taking that kind of deep purple shimmer in the corner and this I'm applying on the outer corner and dragging it to my upper lash line as well kind of like a wing so it just extends really nicely and looks smoky And I'm also taking this iridescent white shimmer shade, which actually has pink glitter in it. So it's perfect for the look and applying that in my inner corner. And I'm also taking that Dr. Seuss palette from I Heart Revolution and just taking that light uh, metallic pink and applying it on my lids just to add a little pop of something because I felt like it needed it. And that one was really creamy. And going into the e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow in purple rain now this was actually a little bit of a dark purple so it didn't really match so i only applied a tiny bit and blending it blended it out with my fingers to just buff it into the eyes to add a little bit of a glitter uh, effect Then I do go into the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner. This one's actually a good one. It's got a little short felt tip, so it's great for someone who is a beginner. If you don't like using an eyeliner that has a really long brush or felt tip that you find hard, this one's really short. So you might actually find doing eyeliner a lot easier because it's easier to control. For mascara, I'm going into the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara, and when I tell you I fell in love all over again, this is a very skinny brush, which is perfect to get every single lash and to lift up every single lash. Like, it does not miss anything. It does not make your lashes clumpy either, and it's perfect for the lower lash line, even if you don't want to use it for the top lashes. But trust me, it's one of the best mascaras. I forgot how much I loved it, and yeah, now I love it again. And I'm just taking whatever's left over from that purple that we used on top and just dragging that on the lower lash line. For lips, I'm going into the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. In my choice, and this is like a rosy brown. And then I'm going into the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in Sugar Plum, which is a beautiful plum raspberry shade. It just makes the lips look super juicy. And this is definitely an autumn colour, so save it for the autumn time. It's, def it's so affordable as well. And last but not least, going into gloss, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in Meringue, and this one's a lilac pink. And I'm just applying a little in the center and to the top.
Brian Little. <laughs> Then we are finished with the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Shop My Stash drugstore edition. Again, let me know what other editions you would love to see from me and we can go shopping and pick out some products again. And I really like this one. It was fun. So yeah, do let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you love the look. Give me all your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.